significant economic data and beginning of earning reports. Hello and welcome to our weekly outlook. Last week, employment data was not as good as expected, however, with unemployment rate dropped to 4.8% and 0.6% average earning raisings, still pressure on Federal Reserve to reduce support will continue. This week, economic data from all developed economies with beginning of the earning reports creating a busy and a great week. Let's take a quick look at the week ahead and the most important events to watch. Number 1. UK Employment Data UK Unemployment Numbers and Average Earnings Index will publish on Tuesday. The economy has continued to improve in the past months that ended with a sharp decline in unemployment numbers all the way down to 4.6% in July. The labor market in the US and UK almost had the same fate. For this week, we are expecting to see not much changes in the recruitment rate, while reopenings are increasing the employment chance at the same time skis mismatches and some other concerns stop growing up employment. Also, in average earnings, we can see an increase, the same thing that happened in the US as well. These data are expected to put the FTSE and other UK indices under pressure. Number 2. Chinese Trade Data We cannot ignore the Chinese role in the global economy. We saw what happened with the global stock market just because of growing concerns about the China Evergrande. As the biggest factory in the world, Chinese September trade data on Wednesday will be watching closely by market participants. Getting closer to the Christmas, usually increasing the Chinese export numbers. However, in September, we saw some power shortage in China as well that caused production shutdown of some heavy industries during the month. These expected weakness in the export numbers can be accompanied by the ease in the domestic market as well, which can reduce the import numbers too. Number 3. U.S. Inflation Wednesday is the busiest day of the week. In the United States, wide used vehicle prices that were the main concerns in the past months declined in September. Other items like food and energy prices increased and again boosted the overall inflation numbers to grow higher. Recent increase of house prices with the weakness and disruption of the supply chain also are the other reasons that can boost the US inflation numbers. Higher inflation is expected to put the US stock markets a bit more under pressure as it will increase the chance of hawkish policies. Number 4. FOMC meeting minutes. What the latest Fed speakers telling us is that the Federal Reserve officials now are more worried about the higher inflation than a few months ago. Now, it seems that the FOMC members that believe in rate high for 2022 are equal to the number of opponents. Bond market and increasing the yields also are another factors to expect the more hawkish tones from this meeting minutes. Expected hawkish tone supposed to help the US dollar index to hold its gain above 94, with an eye to the higher levels. And finally, number 5, earning reports kickoff. Again, we are at the beginning of another earning report cycle. Quarter 3 earnings will kick up this week with financial sector mostly and Delta Airlines in the United States. JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup and Delta Airlines will be the first companies that are publishing their reports. Financial sector were one of the good performance sectors in the past months and with higher inflation, we can expect their income to increase a bit more. Thanks for being with us and hope this week will be an amazing week for you.